G'day guys, welcome back, welcome to pouring your heart out. I'm going to do a resin pour in my round mould this morning. Uh, similar I guess to this one that I did with the plastic to get that crinkled look. Uh, but I'm going with the round and I'm going to use um, a slightly thicker plastic this time. The one I used for this one was a cling wrap. Glad wrap, saran wrap, whatever you want to call it. This one, it's a little bit, a little bit thicker. I just noticed there's a hole in it. Hmm. Maybe I can stick it over in the corner. Um, so anyway, I'm going to use that slightly thicker plastic and, and see if that works. And also, what I'm going to be doing is once I put the clear, um, once I've put the plastic on and it's had a chance to dry. Um, I'm going to use a chameleon paint and then I'm going to top coat it with black. So, wow, that's, that's, um, hopefully I'll get a really pretty effect. And then when you turn them upside down, the clear side, which is on the bottom, is um, where you're going to get your effects, you see. So I'm hoping that's going to work and be pretty. I'm using the Delcom. Now I haven't got gloves on, but I'm just going to pour this out and then I'm going to get straight on to putting the plastic on so I'm not actually going to touch the resin just gonna make sure that's all gone off to the sides there I'm using a slightly thicker resin than I did in that previous one just to see if you know I can get my sort of crackles to stay a little bit more crackly looking with a thicker type resin. I don't know if it'll make any difference. So this is a one-to-one -one resin. It's um, Delcom, Delcom Crystal Clear. I'll show you. That's it there. It's a one-to-one. -one. So I've got um, 80 grams of A and 80 grams of B. So 160 grams divided by 4 should be 40 grams in each. Now I'll give that a bit of a, a torch with my little tiny torch. The only problem with the one-to-one -one resin is it being a little bit thicker, it does tend to hold the bubbles a little bit more because being thicker there's less, well there's more resistance. So the bubbles sort of stay suspended a little bit more easily, I guess. Whereas a thin resin, the bubbles can just come up and go, yay, I'm free, I'm free. Whereas with a thicker resin, it's more like, you know, being stuck in quicksand. It's a little bit more difficult to, for the bubbles to get out. But hopefully, hopefully I can still get a, a good effect, hey? Make sure that's gone out totally before you put it away. Still there, still there, gone. Okay, I've got two. I just leave them standing up in there. Right, um, I'll get on to what I'm using with the chameleon pigments a bit later on. I just want to get these plastics in before my resin starts going off. This is my inspiration, this little pendant. So I'm hoping maybe to get something like that. Hope so. I'm concerned about that one that had the hole in it. It was like a, ho a hole punch. Where was it? There. All right, so this time, so that I don't get um, bubbles. Well, you know how I, see those little dots there? I had air bubbles under the plastic. That was my first one. I know I wasn't very good at it, but I'll leave that one for a sec. I'll try not to get too many air bubbles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put that over the top. I'm going to press down. I'm going to get all the, oops, oh, I'm going over the edge again. It's what I didn't want to do. Go over the edge. I'm trying to get all the air bubbles out before I start. It's going over the edge again. Go, out you go, bubble. Out you go. I need a toothpick. I'm going to do one and then I'm going to fast forward you so you don't have to watch me struggle with all of them. I was hoping that the thicker plastic might be easier. There's still a bubble there. 
get out. It's just following me around. Okay, so now that that's done, now I'm going to try and crackle, crackle, crackle. So just kind of pulling it in, making that kind of crackly effect. with the plastic. I don't actually know if it's working. No, it's not actually working as well as the um, the glad wrap. Hang on, I'm gonna have to change. I'm gonna have to change real quick. Well, that was annoying, wasn't it? I had to get that bit of plastic out. I used my palette knife to get all the resin off so that I could go again with the thinner plastic. All right, let's try this time not to get bubbles. Actually, someone said to me um, in my description of the video, she said, just pop, if you get a bubble, just pop it with a needle. So that's a good idea. Whoever said that to me, because I can see there's a, a bubble under there. And I have got a little pin. Hopefully, oh, actually, let me just see if I can actually get it out before I go making holes. That's the problem with this thicker resin. No, it's not going to come out. I'm just going to have to pop it. Is that going to work? No, it's not going to work. Oh my gosh. Right, this is really tricky. <clears throat> I don't want bubbles. I really don't want bubbles in this. Oh, that's a wet one. Get a clean one. Just going to see if I can push the bubbles out. So I'm going to do one and then, like I said, I'm going to fast forward you so that you don't have to watch. I think people got annoyed last time when I did it. I took a I took a long time, but yes, you know, I was learning. There we go. Push them out. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm just going to <clears throat> excuse me. It's croaky in the morning, allergies. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this little crinkle pattern so I'll just loosen the plastic a little bit from the sides to pull it in. I think I'm just gonna have to deal with the bubbles afterwards. Um, I'll do my crinkle little pattern and then I'll just I guess go with the pin later on and, um, and pop the bubbles. So I don't want it as crinkly I think as, as the previous one <laughs> if that's a thing. Oh there's a bubble! Maybe the using the thicker resin wasn't such a good idea because it's more difficult getting the the bubbles out. Right, that's the first one done. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to put you on fast forward and I'm going to do the rest. Right, oh, it is, oh, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, I think I did the first coat at about 8.30 this morning. So hopefully it's dry enough to do the next step. I probably, in hindsight, should not have used the 
the thicker resin, the one-to-one, -one, because A, it's thicker and you get more bubbles in it, and B, the one-to-ones tend to take longer to, um, to set up. Oh, where's this bit of plastic going? I think it's is stuck to the side. Oh, it's hard to see what's resin and what's plastic. Oh, no, it's a bit of plastic. See, it still feels a bit kind of soft. I don't know if that's plastic or that's resin. I think that's got it all. It's hard to tell because it's clear. So I've got some bits that have overflowed. Um, when I pushed the, the plastic down, the resin kind of went up the sides a little bit. I'll have to be careful with that. I don't know how I can not get it over the edge, but it's easy enough just to trim off afterwards. Oh, it looks so cool. Let's get it off. So, um, yes, getting back to the chameleon paints. Well, they're not paints, are they? They're mica powders. Um, I've got four different colours that I want to try. Oops, that one's starting to lift the whole piece out. I might have to just trim that a little bit. It's kind of sticking over the top. Um, I'll, I'll trim it in a minute. Break these bits off that are stuck over the top. Yeah, it's a bit of a fiddly little thing, but look, I think the results will be worth it. And now I want to show you this little pendant. I got this from um, the U Monday Market. Let me put it on autofocus. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? I'm assuming it's resin because if you look really, really carefully, there's a couple of bubbles in there. So I'm assuming it's resin. And um, oh, that ring light. The ring light. <laughs> so I think it's similar to what I'm doing. I hope anyway. I'm not sure what they've done there. I, mean, I can't, I, I don't know. It's so small, you know, it's only this big. If anyone knows how they got that, I'd like to know. Because, I mean, obviously they haven't put bits of plastic in there, have they? All right, let's get back to this one. Ring light back on. Okay, so that's the sort of look I'm hoping to achieve. Hopefully the bubbles in here won't be too distracting. Because the other thing... Um, like when I did that other one with the, the wave ripple look, we were looking down at the top. But with this one, the bottom of these is going to be the top. So maybe the bubbles won't be as noticeable. I don't know. This just feels really weird. It's soft, soft, rubbery resin. I'm going to pick that off. Right, I might tidy that up later. I'll just get this last one off. Um... There we go. That one came off really easily. Now, what I thought I would do, because there's that little bit sticking up there, I'm going to have to get my cuticle scissors, uh, these little ones, and I just need to trim that. It's actually wanting to lift out this bit. When I put the plastic up, it started lifting, so let's put that back down. Um, just give it a little trim if anything else is sticking up. Make sure you don't cut your mould. And if there's any bits that kind of, like when you unmould, if any bits are on the sides there, you can just file them. It's not going to be a problem. I just thought it might be easier just to get a few off now before it hardens. Oops, did I cut that? No. Did I? 
No. Okay. All right, let me just trim these a little bit and I'll come back to you and we'll do the next step. All done. Tidied up my sides. Came off really easy. I just kind of scratched it like that with my nail and peeled off. So it'll be easier um, once I've unmolded. If I do have a little piece sticking up, I can just sand it. But got the majority of it off, I think. Oh, there's a bit. Right. Now, um, these. I'm using these. Chameleon pigments. I got them from glitterandcraftsforyou.com. I'm using No FOMO. I thought I'd do a different colour in each one. I have no idea what it's going to look like, but. Um, Interfere Who? <laughs> That's what it's called. I guess it's an interference paint pigment. Interfere that. And South Beach. So that's them there. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do. When I bought them, they had little pictures online of you know what they look like when they're all done, and they looked really pretty. You know, they had that two-tone thing happening. Right now, I've got my two little brushes here. My daughter gave them to me. They're her makeup brushes that she wasn't using, so I think maybe the bigger one. Let's go with that. All right. Ooh, here we go. All right. I'm just going to. I'll do one. And then I'll, I'll do what I did before when I was putting the plastic in and I'll just fast forward. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. Dip it in. Paint it. Oh, there's a look at that. There's a little fold. So I'm hoping it's going to look like folded satin when it's done. So the idea for these, I'll talk to you while I'm doing this one. And then I'll be quiet while I do the others. The idea for these is you have to give them a, a black background. Most important, a black background to make the, the colours pop. I don't know if you have to get in there and get all the, the dust out, the pigments out, or whether or not you can leave some in the grooves. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll get it as even as possible. Oops, I've spilt some over there. So this is pretty easy, this next step. What's this one? Um, no FOMO. I can't remember what colour that was. Uh, I think the company is overseas. I'm in Australia. I think they're overseas. But it's, it's really nice when companies will send to me in Australia. Because some won't. Um, I was a bit disappointed actually that, um, what's it called? Let's Resin? Just Resin? Oh goodness, I can't remember now. Better not say the wrong one. <laughs> well, won't ship to Australia. I even emailed them. Please send me some of your inks. Nope. It's really bizarre because like I buy stuff from stockists all over the world constantly like every second day I'm buying stuff and they come in from like I said every corner of the the earth not just the US and the UK I have stuff coming from Turkey and Greece most stuff come, uh, you know China most stuff I guess comes from the US or, or China but yeah disappointed that they wouldn't even consider sending me things when I get everything from everybody else I don't know I don't know what the story is there but anyway look at that it's covered yay I've made a bit of a mess around my mold so that's that's I guess done I'll get an al um, alcohol 
baby wipe and just clean around the outside of my mold I'm not sure if it's you know if you can leave those little bits in there anyway it is what it is let's cover that one up so and I'm going to clean off my little brush as best as I can because I've only got the one that I'm using and now this one interfere who <laughs> with a question mark it's not very full it's not even half full I guess they weigh different amounts right so I'm gonna do this one now this is a bit more tricky you can't really see where it's going I'm gonna do this um, and I'll do the others and then I'll come back to you
done. How pretty and sparkly do they look? These both look white. This one I can see a hint of green in it. This one I can see a hint of um, purple, I think, pinky purple in it. And this one obviously looks more orange and that one looks as if it's got a hint of red or burgundy. I don't know. It's, it's going to be so much fun unmoulding them tomorrow. Now, in my clear resin here, and I've made up um, just under a cup. I, I think it's way too much. I think you probably need like 120 grams for the bottom layer and then maybe 200 ish for the top layer I think I've got too much resin but anyway oh, have a look my black paste's gone a bit chunky looking All right, let's start with I'll give a, have a good amount because I, I want to um, I want it nice and opaque Hopefully it'll mix in okay. It's just a bit chunky. Hang on to that in case I need more. This is the Art Tree Creation uh, Batman Black Pigment Paste. So let's have a look and see if that's going to mix in. Because the pastes can get a bit chunky, can't they? And kind of dry out a little bit. I've had to put some in a, a warm water bath to soften them back up again, the ones that go really dry and crusty. I'm going to have to make sure I mix it really well. Let me put it down. And I want to make sure that it's opaque. I'm going to have to add more. So you can still see the stick through there. Oh, I've got lumps. Oh my gosh. I didn't realise it was like that. If I'd known earlier, I would have put it in a warm water bath. All right, I'm going to put some more in. And give it a stir, maybe. Because I don't really use the black a lot. I guess people don't really use black very much, do they? It's not one of the most popular colours to use, I guess. Depends what you're doing, really. But yeah, I don't use a lot of black, so it's probably drying out a little bit. I don't want to put it on the board because I might end up shaking the table and in turn will shake the tripod. So that's looking better. I can't see the stick through there anymore. So I think that's nice and opaque. I just want to keep stirring it just for a little bit longer. Just to make sure that I haven't got any lumps. Although you can't tell, can you? What's that? There's a lump. All right, just bear with me. I'm just going to stir it a little bit more. And then I'm going to pour it over. Now, there is quite a bit of dust or mica powder in the little creases. I've kind of left them there on purpose. I was initially, I was trying to get them all out, and then I thought, oh, I wonder what would happen if I left some in there. I'm not sure. What do you reckon? Let me know. What happens if you leave extra mica powder that you've dusted on in your little creases? Do you need to get it all out? I don't know. I don't want to be like blowing it out now. Otherwise it'll blow over the top of all my other colours. Oh, this one here. You know how I spilt a little bit of that one? Oh, I'm hoping it's not going to be detrimental to my piece. And you'll be able to see like an orange in, in that one. I hope, I hope it'll be all right. And I've changed up my resin. I've gone back to my thinner resin so that it is less bubbly. Although it's not going to make any difference. This is going to be the bottom. What you're seeing here is going to be the bottom. All right. Let's do this. It's not going to be terribly exciting. All we're going to do is 
cover the whole thing with black. I'm concerned about my dust now, my little dust. Maybe I should try and blow a bit off. Oh, I'm so indecisive. It's because I've never done this before. Now I can't put you on pause. Okay, no, I can't do it. Uh, I can't hit the screen with my gloves on. Oh. All right, here we go. Pouring it in. just let that level itself out before I go pouring too much on. No, oh, hope it works. Hope it works. Oh, would have to drip there, wouldn't I? Try not to drip and then I drip. <laughs> yes, you can drip there, that's okay. Now I'll try and get these to, to dome. Oh, I see. See the dust, the, I keep calling it dust, the mica powder is floating to the top. I guess that's because I've um, left a little bit too much in there maybe. Um, it won't matter, it's, um, what's that, okay that's a bit of side. It's a little bit of the side, alright let's pour a little bit more on, cover that bit. Don't think it'll matter that there's dust floating up. Mica powder floating up. <laughs> pixie dust. It just reminds me of pixie dust. Fairy dust. It's so pretty. Look, I'm getting pearls. I'm doing a pearl pour. <laughs> oh. Pearl pour and acrylic pouring, if any one of you resin people don't know what that is. I do pearl pours with acrylic paint. And I get these pearls come up. That's what it looks like. Just trying to get to the edges. I'm going to make sure that your table is a very level. What's going on there? Oh. It's a bit there that um, with a plate. That's a bit of plastic there. I have to come in on the other side of it. Not plastic. Um, it's a piece of the plastic effect, I guess. So have to touch these up, the bits that haven't gone all the way to the edges. And that's a little bit of plastic sticking up there, a little bit of resin sticking up there that I should have trimmed off. That's all right. Look, we learn these things, you know, first time doing things. It's always a big learning curb. That's okay. I'll know for next time. Where else? Where else? Oh, there's a little bit there. Just trying to fill my black in all the way around. Look at all my little bits of fairy dust. Now you can see what colour. Actually, that one's looking purple. I thought that one was green. Look at the top. I'll bring you down so you can have a look. I just want to see if I can put any more in. That one is definitely purple, this one. I can see purple. I thought this one was green. That one's looking green. That one's looking blue. That one's looking pink. Oh, this is just doing my head in. I don't know what I'm seeing. Actually, I better not try and fill them up anymore. They're all at the, at the moment they're all doming. So I'm going to have a touch more. The others are full. Full, full, full. Full, full, full. And I've got, I've got a tiny bit left. Wasn't too bad. Not too bad. Alrighty. I'm just going to clean off my stir stick because this is my stirring stick. Nicely primed with resin so that I um, don't get too many bubbles. Because you know raw timber You'll get bubbles in it. All right. Okay, I think I'm ready for you to take my gloves down. Uh, take my gloves off and bring you down. If I can get my gloves off. It's stuck 
to me. <laughs> it's a hot day. My hands are all sweaty. Oh, there we go. All right. I, I'll use those gloves again. Waste not, want not. Okay. Looks like a little galaxy paw going on, doesn't it? Now, look over the top. See how they're doming? They're nicely curved around the tops there. Actually, that looks gold through there now, doesn't it? But when I was looking down at it, look! Pink! Gold! Pink! Doing my head in! Purple! some blue in there as well <gasps> blue I'm oh, sorry about the reflection blue pinky purple blue pinky purple What's this one doing look at the bubbles I'll torch in a minute um oh purple I don't know blue I, I don't know what that one's doing what's this one doing gold Can't see just seeing the reflection pink oh, I have no idea what they're gonna do all right um, I'm gonna torch them and uh, I'm gonna come back to you tomorrow what if I can torch while you're watching hang on Let's see if we can pop some bubbles oh, my pearls are coming up this is definitely a resin pearl pour oh well wow. I'm doing a real resin pearl pour. Okay, I obviously shouldn't be putting so much mica powder in. Pink, gold. How are we looking for bubbles? That's better, isn't it? look across this way like if you've got a window nearby check each one do that so that you can get a reflection coming from your window I know the little pots are in the way but just do that and check to make sure there's no fluff or anything in it you can see the sky you can see it's nice and smooth and, and shiny so that's what I do anyway just to double check right I'm gonna cover these babies uh, I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm a bit concerned about all that mic coming to the surface, but never mind. Next time I'll know. Not so much dusting. All right. See you tomorrow. I'm going to get up early and do this one. I'm so excited. Good morning. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. <gasps> Let's do this. Now, I know I'm going to have a little bit of overflow there to trim, but that's okay. All I've done is I've turned the board around, so we've still got that with that, that with that, because I didn't want to mess it up. Right, shall we do this? Shall we see what it looks like? Actually, we better get you out of the way, shouldn't we? I'll put you like that. That way I can still see. But um, I'm not going to be in the way, hey? How's that sound for a plan? Righto, let's do this. Oh my gosh, I hope it works. Please work. Loosen that up. It should just pop out really easily. Let's trim you off. Got my little cuticle trimmers. Very handy to have. <clears throat> All right. Are we ready? Oh, I hope it works. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. That. Look at the gold. Is it gold? Gold in there? Oh, wow. We're getting different colours. We're getting... See, now I see purple and gold. And now I see black and green. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a bit glary, isn't it? It's going to be difficult to take photos of these. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. I should turn that overhead light off. See that one there? That's annoying me. Hang on, let me turn that off. I 
turn the spotlight off as well. We don't need any more glare in here. We've got enough light. That is amazing. I think my only critique would be I've left too much um, mica powder in the creases. So it's showing more gold in there uh, where, I, where I would have preferred it to show a little bit more black. But hey, live and learn, hey. I've learnt. Make sure I dust it off well. And there's a little bit of a bit there that needs to be trimmed. I think what I'll do is I'll get my Dremel out because it's, you know, much faster than trying to um, <clears throat> sand my hand. And I'll get all those little bits done and then I'm going to paint them the sides. That actually lends itself more to, I think, a copper a copper edge. I don't know if I'll do them all the same colour or not. Let's get the next one out. This is so much fun. So much fun. Now this one I can see like a, oh, what do you reckon, like a purple on top? So it may well be purple, this one. Let's trim that off. I can't help myself. <laughs> I know, I should just wait, hey. Wait for later. You guys are going, hurry up, do it later. I know, I'm sorry. It's just bugging me how it's there. All right. I'll do it later. I'll try. Oh, look, there's more bugging me. Oh, all right. Here we go. Are we ready? One. So this one should be the purple. Two. Three. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. It's definitely got purple in it. And there's... Oh, it's so pretty. There's hints of, or is that like a greeny blue? See, this one has got more of the black on the inside, like the little creases. I probably didn't put as much fairy dust. <laughs> Let's call it fairy dust. <laughs> Pigment powder on this one. Now, you can see the bubbles. There they are. Oh, well. It's the bottom of the bubble instead of the top of the bubble, so they look round. Because normally, you know, you use the other side. But on this one, we're using the, um, you know, the bottom of the coaster is the top. So we're getting <clears throat> full, full rounded bubbles. Oh, that's okay. Just pretend they're not there. Look at the rest of it. That's so pretty. There we go. Where's that one? Uh, next time, and look, I want to keep doing this until I get it right because... That's what I do. I do something and then I do it, I do it, I do it, and I get it right and I go, okay, done, move on. So I need to do it again. Not put so much dust on, pigment powder. Um, use a thinner resin, go back to the thinner resin, and I think I won't put so much clear down um, because when I made my little scrunches, it kind of pushed up the sides and kind of went up the sides, so be more careful doing that. Um, so use a thinner resin, so hopefully it won't be so bubbly. Use the cling wrap because that other thicker one did not work. <laughs> I'll be more prepared next time. Right, now this one we can see pink, can't we? Pink and maybe some gold. Let's have a look. One, two, three. Oh, wow, my gosh, look at that one. Definitely pink. These are so much fun. They're so pretty. Wow. Pink and gold. So what have we got? We've got a green, a purple, and a pink. I wonder what the next one's going to be. I'll come around the other side. Then I'm leaning across. But yeah, I think I just put a little bit too much pigment powder down because I can't see the black background as much as I would like to see it. You guys don't mind if I do it again, do you? No? I'm trying to cut these over here away from my other ones. I know. Do it later, woman. I know. Just there we go. Right. Now this one hmm that one I see I see pink in there again so I don't know if it's going to be similar to this one or not maybe it's more of a an orangey pink I, I don't know let's reveal 
one, two, three. Oh, it's it's more of a pink and gold. I guess it's similar to that other one. I'll put them up next to each other in a minute so you can have a look. This one's definitely got more gold in it. Wow. Don't they look like crushed satin? Hey, they do. They look like satin fabric. So there's that one. Okay, so this one's a bit more purpley. And then I guess that one's more blue. All right, we'll go pink, purple, blue, green. Love it. What do you think, guys? Wow, I love them. All right, I'm going to go and get myself set up with my little Dremel. Uh, I'll do it outside because it's very dusty. I don't know which one I like the best. Oops, that was just a piece of leftover cut. I thought, oh, what's that? Um, so I'm going to go and Dremel them and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to paint the edges with, um, I don't know, will we go gold or will we go copper? Hmm. So this one's got copper, it looks like copper in it. I think hmm, maybe the copper would be better. Gold might just be a little bit too contrasting. I'll have a think about it. All right, I'll be back soon. So happy they turned out. Hey guys, <laughs> uh, you're in my washing up area. Now, I'm going to just do this over my sink, I thought. Now, this is my Dremel. I've got this little rounded one on. <clears throat> Excuse my dogs. Um, so that's it. Just push this. And off you go. It has got two speeds, but I find that the first one, that there, it's just way too slow to be doing anything. So, right. <clears throat> now, let's see. I've never done this before in this room with my tripod on a weird angle. Let's see if I can actually do this. I'd like to have the back facing me because if I slip... I find if I slip, I hit that way, and I don't want to hit the top, so I'll face it towards me. Right, so I'm going to go, first of all, I'm going to go straight along the edges, and then what I tend to do is come back and go along the bottom like that, so two steps. Right, here we go. It's a bit noisy. Bear with me. And you can see how it's gone a bit sort of lighter there. That's how you do it. Um, I am going to go, I have got my plastic coat on so that I don't get dust on me. This blows up a lot of dust so make sure you wear a mask. I'm only going to put my mask on and my goggles so that you don't get dust in your in your eyes. But I just wanted to show you basically what I do. All right, so I'm going to go and do that. Um, and then I'll uh, show you the gold edging. Right, I'm back, all cleaned up. I have a, a single use pepper mask that I use for this sort of thing and I can just chuck it out when I'm done because you don't want to keep dust all over your mask. Hands are all washed up, plastic coat's been wiped down. <laughs> right, back to normal. Now I've got a copper and a gold in the deco colour. I had a look at the copper and I thought it just... I mean, it's pretty and all, but I don't think you're really going to see it very well next to that. And so I thought, I don't think I'll do the, the copper. And even against this one, how's that going to look? I don't know. I just, I think I prefer gold. <laughs> I do, I'm a gold girl. <laughs> so let's use this one. Uh, it's the Deco Color Premium. There's lots of gold pens. There's Krylon, which is really nice as well. Um, but I, I did start with Krylon, and I've moved on to this brand. I think it's I think it's prettier now because we've sort of scuffed up the the sides there. Um, it won't matter because we're going to cover it with gold anyway, aren't we? Hope this is going to focus for you. So I'll just cover them over and you won't even know they're there. It's 
going to take me a little while to do this. I'll do a little bit and then I'm going to go and sit over there. I've got myself a little outdoor table and chair set that I put in the studio that um, I can use when I'm painting or sitting down having a cuppa or just thinking up ideas, putting them down on paper. So somewhere just to sit and contemplate and uh, write down what I'm going to do for the day, you know, work out my calculations and things like that. So that's basically what I'm going to do along the, the side. Oh, it's looking really pretty already. And then when I've done that, um, I, won't, uh, I won't bother you with the whole thing because it's going to take a while. Where is it? See, I've got, all, I've got all that to do still. Just push down on it. Oh, look, you can see through there. Ooh. Push down on it and it'll start the paint flowing again. This is an oil-based one, so it stays on really well. Again, I like to work with the back facing me in case I slip. And then if I slip, I slip onto the background. Sorry if it's not focusing. It's trying to focus on what's in the, the back as well. All right, let's just get this done. This is my favorite part. Push down to get the ink started. Make sure we're dust free. Half on with the pen and half off with the pen. And away we go. It's pretty easy. Just got a piece of card there, blotting paper, just to get the colour to come back down again if I need it to. My pen may be running out. It gets a lot of use. I just buy them on eBay. I'm an eBay girl. And there we go, we've joined up again. Oh, wow. Shut the front door, as they say. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So happy with it. Wow. Love it. You get such a depth, don't you? Such a 3D depth. I'll see if I can take it into the other room to photograph because it's a bit glary. All right, I'm going to finish them uh, and I'll set them up somewhere. I don't know where, somewhere that I haven't got too much glare that you can see the, the best results. So thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you've enjoyed this. It's so much fun and I love these. Oh, the other thing, I've written on the top because, you know, that looks white. So I've just written on the top. That's the blue purple, the purple blue. That's that one. Um, green, that's that one. So I'll know for next time. That's the pink and gold. That's that one. And then this one was more of a purpley one. So that's that one there. Purpley. So yeah, just so I know for next time what they are. Right. Wasn't that clever? All right. I'll see you for the next video. Love you all. Bye for now.